All right, here we go. We're back with more Detective Pikachu Returns. Let's uh, let's explore the area around before we leave. We just got done solving the entire thing with uh, with everyone. I do like talking to everyone, I guess. Ice Cube's back to normal. His face is pretty sensitive to heat. Uh, yeah, that was great. Thank you. Oh, you're the one who saved us. I'm sure Dermanitan's really happy too. Dermanitan turned into his snowman zen form? That was so cool. Huh, do you want to ride? No, I, I'm not. I don't think we're going to do that. Oh, you know what? We do have to go talk to the quiz lady. This is true. I've been ignoring the quiz lady uh, since the first chapter because I thought it was not fun. So we're just going to go into generic NPC right over here. Hi, quiz professor. May I call you quiz? Hi, detective. Judging by the look on the face, you found the answer. Yeah, it's charge a bug. Okay, great. Good job. Charge a bug, eat fallen leaves, and convert them into electricity, and they could store that electricity just like a battery. Seems like they'd be a pretty useful Pokemon to have in the great outdoors, if only a certain Pikachu had that talent. Hey, Tim, you know I could hear you, right? Now for question number three. There's the last one. What Pokemon is soft and fluffy all over? Oh, that last question is really vague. Find the fluffiest Pokemon around the ruins. Soft and fluffy? I don't remember there being a soft and fluffy Pokemon. It's not Rala, it's not Zigzagoon, it's not Chargebug. Who the heck is soft and fl- Oh, uh, Munchlax? Well, my- The Soul Rock? Oh yeah, it could be Eldegoss. Yeah, it's really fluffy. Oh, I forgot Eldegoss existed. All right, that's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Sometimes you forget Pokemon exist. Eldegoss is one of them. All right, the answer is Eldegoss. Uh, that's correct. Didn't you just want to give it a big hug? Uh, by the way, Eldegoss' is co cotton is used as a material for all sorts of clothing. Not only that, the seeds attached to its cotton are highly nutritious for Pokemon. It's really an amazing Pokemon. Not only cute, but helpful as well. Cute and helpful? Is there anything it can't do? Our daily lives are improved by so many different Pokemon helping us out. Well, that's it for today's quiz. I look forward to the next time you meet. i got a feeling we're going to keep running into her. Oh, yes, well, please go easy on us, okay? For what? I didn't get any points. I didn't get any money. I didn't get a cute little detective cape for Pikachu. I didn't get new running shoes that make me run faster. I didn't get a better jacket. What do I get? Let's get out of here, man. I'm ready to go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you know, today was fun. Really? It was touch and go there for a bit. I know, right? It was so exciting. Plus, I got to learn about what kinds of things you're usually up to. You better hit me up for your next case, too. Hmm, no, I'm not sure about that. Don't worry, I'm just messing around. I know I'd just be a bother if I tagged along every time. Anyway, let's go home. That's right. Give Tim his space. Don't be clingy. And we didn't mention that we saw Amelia on the news at all? Second Avenue, later that evening. Look. Huh? Oh, so Beedrill chasing after Mewtwo? Hey, up there. And that stone? Mewtwo? Huh? What's that behind it? It's draining him. And there's a person. Yo, that's super effective damage, man. Oh no. Yo, is that Harry? Oh no. They're coming this way. Everyone, take cover now. <laughs> Yo, that's Harry. Can't handle Beedrill. Yo, who's protecting us right now? You too. Please. 
Yo, Mewtwo. What is this Harry? And the upper arm strength. Wait, come back. Dad. They're gone. Yo, get those cubes off of him. What just happened? Why did you have Harry? Terrible. Pokemon battling in the city? It's just like Mayor Myers told us. Pokemon have to be managed. This is not good. You need to get out of here. So it would seem. Do not worry about that human. Tim, does Pikachu actually know Mewtwo? You could say that. That's incredible. Ah, uh, yes. But where did those guys take my dad? How can I get my father back? There must be something I can do. With all the unrest gripping the city, the police have got to know something. Of course. I'll just talk to Inspector Holiday. He's bound to know something useful. Whoa. So whenever I have these reflections, that's probably the beginning of a new chapter, it seems. The next morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's exactly it. Good morning, Pikachu. Wow, you look awful. Had trouble sleeping? I couldn't stop thinking about this whole business with Dad. I noticed you were out late again last night. I'm guessing you've been having the same problem? Yeah, I just needed some time alone, you know, to gather my thoughts. There's a lot of strange stuff going on. We've got some shady group collecting meteorites and Pokemon for starters. Then there's Cramorant swallowing that jewel, and the Mamoswine that attacked us in the ruins, and those Beedrill that were chasing Mewtwo. They all had some kind of cube-shaped device attached to them. I think today's the day we look into all of that. And you know what we should do to get more information, right, Tim? Yeah, the way these incidents keep piling up, the police are bound to have started investigating the situation. Right, and the police officer uh, we can trust the uh, the most is Inspector Holiday. We should go talk to him. Uh, what are you getting at? Uh, right, Pikachu? Yeah, that's spot on. Um, by the way, Tim, are you sure you don't want to tell Irene and Sophia about Harry? Not yet, not until we know exactly where he is. Yeah, good thinking. Ooh, head out when we're ready. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna see if we get any achievements from the last chapter. Oh. It's today's newspaper. Who took that picture for starters over our shoulder as soon as that opened? That's what I need to find out. Is there, like, a Rotom phone that's just, like, flying around snapping pictures? My gosh. What articles are there today? Oh... Oh, okay, maybe there's, maybe this is based off of how we did in the previous chapter. A genius of Rhymes University unravels ruins mysteries. Oh. Here's an article about Professor Gordon. It says there was a significant discovery at the ruins. So all her work really helped Gordon with his research, eh? Yeah, it even mentions me and Rachel. Uh, but not me. I don't think this article is properly researched. Oh, don't feel too bad. Besides, look, it mentions their Manitan and the others too. Right, Gordon's looking for their home. He says that once he figures out where they're from, he'll take them back uh, for himself. That's really good to hear. I hope they all get back home safely. Popular brand's new collection inspired by Pokemon? Oh, this is because we did the Lee Vanny quest. Oh, okay. So if you do the side quests in the previous chapter, you're going to get headline articles. So this is your reward, pretty much. Oh, it looks like someone designed a whole line of clothes modeled after the ones Lee Vanny make. The Lee Vanny at the Ruins did a great job making clothes for Swadloon. Yeah, those are some quality duds. I should have asked it to make something as a thanks for finding Swadloon. Oh really, what would you have requested? A cape! That's what I was saying! I shouldn't just get an article published over here. No, I need tangible. I want a cape. Don't you think every detective should have a cape? Naturally, I want to be real classy, uh, like the one I got to wear on the cruise ship way, the cruise ship way back when, which is exactly a throwback to that one case on the luxury cruise liner. Yes. You know, Tim, you could always buy me a cape as a present. Uh, would I though? 
Special report. Uh, Pokemon of the Ruins uh, Fallen Stars. All right, here we go. Uh, it's about Pokemon murals and the statues we saw there. Speaking of which, why do you suppose there was a Clefairy statue there? The others make sense. They were a Passimian living near the ruins. And the professor explained that Aegislash symbolized protection of misfortune. But why was Clefairy chosen as a statue motif? Gordits and the ruins are built on a site where a bunch of meteorites landed, right? Apparently Clefairy and Clefa, which evolves from, uh, it evolves from, often appear where meteorites have fallen. And remember, we ended up helping some Clefa that were playing hide and seek. I bet whoever built those ruins also interacted with Clefairy in some way. So that Clefairy statue might have been, yeah, could have been inspired by an ancestor of those little Clefa. So for finding all the Clefa, we get that special report. Missing tourist found unharmed? Hmm. Oh, a person who'd been missing for two whole days just got rescued by the police. Oh, yeah, I saw in the news that someone had gotten lost while hiking. I'm glad they were found safe and sound. You and me both. Says here that they were wandering lost in the mountains when they came across an Ursa ring. Uh, when the hiker's eyes met the Ursa rings, the hiker got scared and took off running. Wasn't long before the rescue party found their person missing, sprinting uh, full tilt down the path. Encountering a wild Ursa ring when you're already lost would be enough to send anyone packing. Still, I wonder if that Ursa ring would actually have attacked the hiker. Who knows? You'll have to ask the Ursa ring. Fascinating. Okay, I think this one was because we rescued both Ursa ring. An in-depth interview. Here's a column that always has interviews with experts from the fields. Uh, this time they're interviewing the researcher of fossils. Oh, remember we gave him three fossils. That's right. It says he's been digging up fossils for half a century now, and he's discovered countless new specimens. It started as a hobby, and now he's founded his own fossil museum. Well, what a legend, huh? Wait a second. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, it's the fossil collector we met at the ruins. I had no idea it was such a prominent researcher. Do you think the fossils he found yesterday will be added to his prize collection? Hey, it was me and Dermanitan who found them. We didn't get credited, huh? Daily crossword. Hey. Alrighty then. Uh, what do we get for today's crossword? Are you ready? Here's the first hint. This Pokemon has a blocky body and impressive jaws. Dude, it's the quiz lady. She's just making the answers in the crossword. That's Chargebug. Winged Pokemon, adorable eyes. Rowlet. Pokemon covered in fluff. Eldegoss. Wow, Pikachu, you saw this almost instantly. It helps that we saw these puzzles before, so doing it a second time is a piece of cake, especially for a great detective like yours truly. Okay, so kind of interesting. A little bit more content you're given if you take the time to do any of the monotonous side quests in the game. So, pick and choose, man. Read the read the newspaper. Oh, look at all these berries. Yo, are we just gonna eat these berries up? Mom, dude, what are you doing all day? Cook me a meal. We <laughs> Notice how mom is just in the kitchen the entire time. That's her permanent spot. She's not sitting down on a chair watching TV or anything like that. We brought back a ton of berries from the ruins. We sure did. I had a blast tasting so many different flavors. Let's whip up something with these later. <clears throat> mom. Right. I know you're busy. Please don't overwork yourself. Yeah, you don't have to worry about me so much, mom. I'm not a kid anymore. Uh, says, <laughs> says the guy who only eats the mac and cheese. Yep. Say that all you want. Mother always worries about her kids even when they're adults. I know, Mom. Thanks. I'll be careful. What's on TV? Oh. Time for the morning news. We have never once mentioned that that's Amelia. Pokemon incidents are on the rise. A swarm of Beedrill descended on Rhyme City last night. Though citizens were in danger, we can thankfully confirm that no one was harmed. Both the Rhyme City Police and the PPB are investigating the incident. Mayor Myers has said addressing these incidents is his top priority. That happened yesterday. Yeah. No mention of that group in the white uniforms, though. Or Dan, for that matter. We can't just ignore those weirdos. We need more information. You're right. We should go talk to Inspector Holiday. Yeah, let's do that. If, uh, if we want to talk to Inspector Holiday, we should go to the police station. Yeah, I'm ready to head out whenever you are. Maybe we'll see Amanda. I liked Amanda in the previous game. I went to Rhyme Tower with Mom yesterday. The view was super pretty. Let's all go together next time. No thanks. You can count me out. I've got no time for sightseeing. Pikachu will come too, of course. Are you hearing a word I'm saying? Oh, yeah. No, of course not. Tim, 
Hey, Tim, do you know any good sightseeing spots in Rhyme City? I'd just love for you to show me. Uh, nothing's really coming to mind right now. Oh, come on, Tim, you gotta be ready for this kind of thing. What if, what if you had had to come up with a few good date spots on the fly, huh? Uh, <laughs> I take it you know a good spot then, Pikachu. Of course I do. Personally, I recommend the hi Hat Cafe. I've been popping over there after dinner lately uh, just to grab some coffee and collect my thoughts. Ah, so that's where you've been running off to in the evenings recently. Still, I think Sophia may be a little too young to really appreciate the Hi-Hat Cafe. Don't bother your brother, Sophia. Tim's very busy. Okay. Oh, what else you got? Are you heading out again? Yeah. I'll hang out with you later. I promise. Okay, then I guess I can wait a bit. Oh, that's cute that they're out here trying to, you know, see him and whatnot. But he's just too busy solving crimes. All right. Let's get going, Pikachu. Oh, wait, let's pay the Hi Hat Cafe a visit. Why? We can interview the customers there to see if they know anything about last night's incident. Well, that's pretty important, actually. Uh, this isn't an excuse for you to get coffee, is it? I'm not going to dignify that question with a denial, Most, mostly because I can't. Okay, well, we're off. See you later. Into the Hi Hat Cafe. Rhyme City, outside the Hi-Hat Cafe. Yeah, this is where we met Ash's Pikachu. Uh, uh, what's this? Oh, our pass is gonna come back. Remember Biff? Remember the factory manager? Remember the factory manager we pushed off the Hello, second floor? Detective. I'm here for Pikachu. W Brad, what is all this? Pikachu, you're under arrest. Come with us. Huh? No way. Arrested for what? For property damage. Take him away. What? I'll be all right. It's just a misunderstanding. Focus on proving my innocence. Pikachu! Couldn't even give me a facial expression on that one. Detainee Pikachu. Wow. What's a Sableye doing here? With a cube on his back? Pangoro? I must have fallen asleep at some point. Uh, I remember Brad and his goons putting me in a police car, which means this must be the police station. If this is someone's idea of a joke, it's not very funny. I can't believe a great detective like me would be actually locked up behind bars. There's a cube on his back, too? Hey, quit that muttering, newbie. Uh, great. I guess I can't expect a warm welcome from my new roommates, either. I've landed myself in a real mess, that's for sure. Ah, uh, well, let's see what my new roomies can tell me. Hey, don't you feel something on your fur? Sableye, a mineral maniac. Hey there, buddy, can I ask you some questions? I ain't your buddy, newbie, and I ain't wasting time making small talk with you, either. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I'm still trying to get my bearings. I mean, I don't even know why I was brought here. Hey, sure you don't. You must have done something bad to end up here. Something bad, me? I'm the great detective Pikachu. I would never. A great detective you? Huh, now that's a good one. That wasn't a joke. Well, Mr. Great Detective, let me give you some free advice. You may have been a big shot detective out there, but in here, you're just a newbie. And newbies don't run their mouths, got it? Well, uh, that's that, I guess. I don't think I'll be getting much more out of him. Wow. Property damage? I mean, in this in the previous game, they pushed a guy off of a, off a second floor building and he landed on his neck. And we never saw him again. Uh, hey, you got a minute? Uh, you must be the newbie. Uh, so I'm told. I was hoping to learn more about this place. Hey, are you even listening to me? Hello? Keep it down in the detainment room. The detainment room? You mean where we are now? Great, just ignore me, why don't you? Well, at least I learned what this room is called, which is nice. Sheesh, Sheesh can't even get a straight answer out of the Pokemon here. 
Ah, uh, that puts me in a bit of a pickle. How am I supposed to find out what's going on? Hmm, what's happening? It's time for exercise. Proceed to the roof. Single file. Oh gosh. Hey, you guys all right? The mind control boxes. <gasps> Body's moving on its own. Whoa. Exercise on the roof. Mandatory. To get up there is this the roof oh why did i come up here today just keeps getting weirder and weirder uh, i guess i'll ask the other pokemon what's going on morgrim what's this guy's name grim snarls baby impidimp just a silly guy <laughs> what would your subtitle be if you were introduced on screen hi i never seen you around before uh you knew or something yeah i just got nabbed a bit ago uh have you been here a long time no, I'm pretty new too. Been here longer than you though. Uh, and that matters why exactly? Because the longer you've been in here, the higher you are on the ladder. Okay, what about Lipard? Yay. Yay. Poised and refined. Fascinating. Why, hello there. I don't believe we met. Oh, thank goodness. Someone I can actually have a conversation with. Uh, the Pokemon here are a rather quirky bunch, aren't they? You said it. Doesn't help that I've got no idea what's going on. What do you mean? Like how we suddenly ended up on the roof, for example. Oh, right. I suppose that is a bit strange. The same thing happens every day, but I really don't know why. Uh, every day, huh? Good to know. Who else is here? Is it? Just four Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, Manectric. Hey. Uh, oh, no, you don't. It's exercise time. That you exercise here on the roof. Manectric, though. Alright, you. I thought we were friends. Didn't I tell you to zip it? Stop talking to me like we're pals, newbie, because we ain't. Oh, come on. No need to be so standoffish. I'm just trying to ask a few questions. Weren't we inside a room just now? Why are we up on the roof? Beats me. Don't try anything funny if you know what's good for you. Sableye is some really jail cell energy over here. Wait, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Maybe on TV. I'm a famous great detective, after all. A great detective, huh? Say. I thought I told you to keep quiet, newbie. Hey, I thought you didn't want to talk to me, and now here you are striking up a conversation? Oh, man, this is pretty intense. Uh, you won't be running your mouth like that for long. Follow me. Luxray wants to see you. Luxray? I'll teach you how things work around here. I'll teach you real good. This is the newbie I was telling you about. So you're the talkative Pikachu. Whoa, Luxray, born leader with a penetrating gaze. Wow. Eh? What are you supposed to be, the big boss of this place? You gotta be joking. <laughs> like Jail 101 or something? You don't know when to stop talking. Rule number one. Whoa. He fainted? That attack shouldn't have been very effective. Pathetic. Oh, gosh. This is like... Detainment Day 1. Tim. Morning. Well, I made it to police station, but I wonder if they'll even let me see Pikachu. He must be so lonely all by himself in there. I can't believe they just drag him off like that out of the blue. 
Brad said something about property damage, but that doesn't sound like Pikachu at all. Ask the officer if visitations are allowed. We are literally at the jail right now, trying to visit Detective Pikachu and find out what's going on with him. Holy moly, this chapter is going to be intense. All right, well, you guys are great. Thanks for watching. Let's go see what's happening and how we're going to get Pikachu out of jail. Oh my gosh, it's going to be fun. Don't miss it. Thanks for being here.